Here's how you can use the Nokia WaveSuite automation platform to reduce the time it takes to configure optical services from weeks or months down to minutes. Let's say we're a service provider who received a request for a new 800 gigabit connection between Los Angeles and Seattle, shown here in the WaveSuite Planner application. So we launch our customized workflow, built with Nokia Optical Professional Services, which sends the request to the WaveSuite Planner application. Because the spectrum is very fragmented, there's no room for the 150 gigahertz slice needed for the 800 gigabits per second connection. This screen in the WaveSuite Optimizer application shows each span and the spectral widths of the channels traversing them. The inability to complete the connection in WaveSuite Planner triggers the workflow to activate WaveSuite Optimizer to perform defragmentation analysis to see if we can free up the spectrum we need. Within minutes, we can see that Optimizer is able to recolor the channels and create space in the existing spectrum to accommodate the 150 gigahertz slice required. The workflow now hits a checkpoint to let us review the recommendations from Optimizer and decide whether to proceed with defragmentation immediately or during a scheduled maintenance window to de-risk any impacts to existing customer traffic. Let's proceed with building the connection now. Once Optimizer has completed recoloring the channel, the workflow automatically reattempts to build the new capacity with the plan design. The workflow is intuitive, with a task view that provides the runtime for each of WaveSuite's automated tasks. It also has pre-checks to cover any errors. Once WaveSuite updates the plan design with the new infrastructure connection and completes the feasibility analysis, the integrated flow through provisioning passes the information from Planner to the network management application, WaveSuite NOC. This removes the need to create any MOPs and fully provisions, routes, and implements the connection directly within the network, a huge saving in time and effort. We can verify this in the infrastructure connection panel in WaveSuite NOC. The OT-SIG tunnel is implemented for the 150 gigahertz wide channel throughout the route. Let's look at this fully routed channel within the route display visualization view. You can see all of the necessary cross connects are established crossing all of the site locations between Seattle and Los Angeles. The last step is to resynchronize the deployed infrastructure in WaveSuite Planner. If we look in the application, we see the newly deployed infrastructure connection between Los Angeles and Seattle appears at the top, and we can filter to show it more easily within the graphical display. And there you have it. The entire infrastructure capacity creation process only takes about 10 minutes in real time, compared to weeks or months when using manual processes. Visit our website to learn more.